What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review that I'm so excited to bring you guys. This foundation is hot, new, fresh on the press, so when I saw it in support, you know what, scratch that. I called them so many days in advance to try to figure out when this foundation was coming out. I called Sephora, the Sephora hotline. I'm like, when when is this foundation coming out? So finally, my Sephora got it. They put it out. I believe they probably put it out because they were tired of me calling them. But anyways, this is the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And I have a review for you guys. So I have it on right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, I never really say this in reviews at first. But um, spoiler alert, I love it. So like I said, I got mine from Sephora. This foundation is $46, which is pricey. But once you feel the foundation, I promise, I feel like this foundation is worth every single penny. Because you can tell that Hourglass really put some research behind it. They made a beautiful foundation. They have 26 colors. When companies come out with foundations, they kind of start off with just the general colors, the colors that they feel like will sell the best. And they see like what's selling the most in the market and is there a need for the other foundation and get some feedback from bloggers or whatnot. And then they expand. No, Hourglass came out with 26. So there's a color that probably caters to almost every skin tone, which I am 100% happy about. I actually was able to even match my mom to one of the foundation sticks and she's one of the hardest matches period because her skin tone is so different and unique so she's really hard to match but there is a color for everybody and I'm super excited about that. If you've never heard of Hourglass maybe the name Ambient Lighting Powders rings a bell those are their powders so hourglass makes phenomenal products they do not come out with a lot of different products every week every month or so what they do is they come out with a big launch like i would say probably quarterly if not semi-annually they just really take their time formulate quality makeup and then they release it in small amounts so they have another foundation but I have not tried it but now I'm curious to try it but this is the newest one that they have it is a stick foundation and I know a lot of people do not like stick foundations because it intimidates them because they are scared of the pigment they are scared of the amount of control that you can get but honestly I personally feel like a stick foundation is easier to use than a liquid foundation because I started using stick foundation first so this stick foundation is also different than any other one because it's in the shape of of a triangle and normally when you have a stick foundation almost always when you have a stick foundation it's in the shape of a circle so this one is in the shape of a triangle and it is smaller meaning it is very thin very skinny so you're able to put this in specified places on your face with no problem this foundation is so smooth you guys it is so smooth you know sometimes when you put on a stick foundation and you go to you know just apply it on your face like directly from the tube to your skin it sometimes drags and tugs your skin and it really clings onto dry spots acne marks any any acne that you have on your face and this one just glides it glides it's like they mix pigments with a slice of a cloud and some butter and a little bit of sugar and spice and everything nice and they said here you go here's your foundation because this foundation glides so smooth you guys will see that in the demonstration you'll see like how how little pressure I had to put on the stick to get it to adhere to my face and I'm so happy about that because with every stick foundation I have ever used you have to put a little bit more force into it and actually drag it down I'm I mean some of them are drier than others but I've never felt a stick foundation that feels like this this right here is just amazing I'm going to read you the description off of the Sephora website kind of paraphrase and I'm not going to say the entire thing because that's a little boring but it is a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer fluidity of a liquid and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage it is a foundation and concealer in one I do have two different shades and I did mix for the foundation and concealer effect so you guys will be able to see that in the demonstration as well vanish foundations concentrated formula is infused with double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage in one application so I did not find that I needed to go back and add a second coat a second layer or anything like that I just basically dabbed it on and it was easy and ready to go so so I was really impressed with the amount of coverage that I was able to get with minimal products. 
but the only downfall is that you do not get a full ounce of product the amount of products in here is 0.25 ounces which is not a lot of products at all but I feel like they substituted the amount of products for how much pigmentation you get when you apply it so you don't need a lot so I guess they were thinking since you don't need a lot then you won't use a lot of it it'll probably go bad before you use all of it if they give you a whole lot of it so that's something to keep in mind you only need small dabs of it what I recommend from just the initial usage of it in this video is that you apply a little bit blend and then where you need any more then go back and kind of apply little spots here and there do not go over and do a whole lot of swipes on your face because it's going to look cakey because I can already tell this foundation will go there if you you take it there so make sure that you apply a little bit and then gradually build so you're not a wasting product and be making yourself look cakey so they are also describing this as a poured liquid foundation honestly I don't I've never tried I've never tried a liquid foundation that felt like this and that is a compliment this foundation feels like no other foundation that I've ever felt before in my life of trying hundreds of foundations I've literally tried almost every foundation on the market it's probably a good handful of foundations that I've not tried so I'm able to really compare it to a lot of different formulas out on the market and this formula is totally unique I can tell that they really went above and beyond to make a good formula they made 26 different colors which I assume is not that easy to do especially when you're dealing with different undertones and you're dealing with different just skin types just all types of factors go into making correct foundations so I believe that these are a amazing and I feel as if a lot of people will be able to wear and love this foundation so this is just it's breathtaking I want to go ahead and cut to the clip where I'm applying the foundation so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm applying it I tell you the colors actually let me go ahead and tell you the colors again I got honey and golden tan and I will show you pictures of the actual foundations the foundations roll up like a triangle which I think is really cool my sister is really into like science and math and how things work so she was like how does the foundation stay in a triangle angular form if you're rolling it up and so she was looking at the configuration of the actual tube and I'm like girl I'm just worried about what's inside this tube but she's really into that and it's really pretty. Of the two colors I'm going to start off with honey around the perimeter of my face. Ooh -wee. And I'm blending that out with a MAC 170 brush. It's so smooth. With golden tan, I'm going to apply this. And I'm using this as my actual concealer today. Um, underneath my eyes and my chin and a little bit on my forehead just to brighten up areas that had gotten a little bit darker with honey because honey is just a little bit too dark for me so I'm going to apply this all in the middle of my face So this is just the foundation by itself. I don't use primer all of the time, especially if I'm not going to be outside, if I don't need my makeup to last for a super extended amount of time. I just find that whatever moisturizer I use just works best for me. Sometimes I use primer, but it's not like I absolutely use primer every day or I'm going to hate my foundation. But this is just how the foundation lays on my face. You guys can see how much I used and how much I had to blend, but this foundation looks amazing. It goes on like a demi matte, so like a satin finish. If you have dry skin, you don't even really need a powder on top of this foundation. It sets beautifully, and it just makes my face look so smooth. It's almost like you can't see any pores, any texture area. It just kind of glides over it. It doesn't cling to any dry patches, so I'm very happy with how this foundation blends 
blended out it blended very effortlessly so with this brush a lot of times I've gotten so used to using my beauty blender that if I don't use it I feel like my foundation doesn't blend out correctly with this I feel like it just buffed the foundation into my skin and it makes my skin look so fresh and just natural if any full coverage foundation was going to be natural I would definitely say this one so it's covered up all of my imperfections without me feeling like I have a heavy layer of foundation on because I hate feeling the foundation on my face. I like for my skin to be able to breathe and so with this foundation I definitely feel like it just feels light and airy. So now that I have the foundation on and you guys can see what the foundation looks like on my skin. I am going to finish off the rest of my face and then I will check in periodically throughout the day to let you guys know how the foundation is wearing for me and my final thoughts on it. Stay tuned. So right now it's about 419. I've probably had the foundation on a good 25 minutes and now that it's just been on my face, it looks even more natural than it did when I first applied. This foundation has technology in it to adjust to your own body temperature to blend into your skin for the smoothest, most seamless finish. <sighs> This foundation is just giving me, giving me all the feels. This foundation does claim to wear for 12 hours and be waterproof, so I am going to be going outside. Currently, it is hot as a mofo. Let me see what the temperature is. It's 90 degrees here, so we'll see how it holds up in 90 degree weather. And I live in the south, so baby is humid. So um, I'll check back in and I will tell you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Right now it is 542 and the foundation is looking really dewy. It's pretty. It's not as matte as it was when I first applied it, but it still is looking really beautiful. It's not breaking apart at all. It is just laying really nicely on my skin. Y'all just got all up in my grill, but it's really nice still. So we'll see how it continues to wear throughout the day. I still have a few more errands to run, so so we're in Best Buy right now. It is, what time is it? 8.30. My face is holy. What about the coverage? <laughs> you don't know what it is. Like, can you see any of my skin? Does it look like I have a cake face? No, I look cake facey. I can see you see my scar. So you can see a little bit of your skin right there. You can see my skin. Why you why you poke it and take the makeup off right there? I was just Okay. Well, this is the I guess fourth hour check-in. Mind you, I did not put on primer, so that is partly my fault. And I was outside, so that really all takes into account as to why. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> that I'll take into account. <laughs> I can talk on my camera if I'm in Best Buy. That I'll take into account why my face is a little bit oily. So when I wear it again, I'll put on a mattifying primer like in my T-zone area. But for now, this is where we are. I'm about to go ahead and blot the oils off my face. Check back in a few. Hello, everybody. So I am back in the car. It is now 9.08 and you guys can see what my makeup looks like i have touched it up and blotted it <laughs> right. I have to touch wow. it <laughs> and blotted it down so you can see like what it looks like blotted definitely i really need a primer on today when it first applied it hey, look at this new mac this lipstick i mean this nail polish wow you don't even know what it is <laughs> no what Wait. color is it Show them your nail polish. We have a mini haul. Show them what you got, Court. Stop! I look a mess. This is called. Color. <laughs> this is a, a phone. It's olive for green. I live for green. This, this is the cutest thing. I found this Princess Jasmine. No, you did it. I found it. No, you Princess did Princess Jasmine. It's a hair. I found a it. Hair. No, you did it. It's a gold hair clip. And, and that I found. And oh, then yeah. let me show you what I got really fast. So. What I found. <laughs> no, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm ready to drive. I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I already have one lighter, so I got a darker one because the lighter one is too light. And then I found the Shape Tape, 
everybody has been raving about this so definitely i have to test it out for you guys i have a lot of new concealers so i'm gonna do a new concealer video i'll like check soldier boy uh, <laughs> like soldier boy no! ah! <laughs> she's a psycho could you play it on no! the on the walk to my car Courtney, play. Me. Love Chipotle. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoyed following me around a little bit for the day. I did a little bit of mini, mini, mini blogging, but um, this is the end of the day. I'm about to wrap up this video. Um, to me, this foundation wore impeccably well considering I was out in 95 degree weather all day. I was moving stuff. I was in and out of store shopping, trying on clothes, and it's hot sitting under these lights. So this foundation has been through a lot. I met some amazing people today. Everybody has given me so many compliments on my skin, which is always, always always a bonus when somebody compliments you on your skin and not your foundation it is a difference in that compliment nothing is wrong with wearing foundation but when somebody says your skin it just takes it to the next level but I do want to quickly mention because I don't remember saying this earlier what brush I was using I use the MAC 170 brush this is an angled kabuki style foundation brush and it was important to use this particular brush because of the way the foundation was hourglass themselves sells a brush that they release with these foundations it is similar in the way this brush is designed i opted not to get that brush just because i have other brushes that are similar namely this one was the first one that popped into my mind so i just passed on it so if you have a brush like this or the mark jacobs face 2 brush or let's see if you have like this MAC brush, this is fine. Very dense and compact. The MAC 196 brush, also a good replacement. The MAC 128 brush. All of them just are gonna buff out the foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 brush. This brush is a little big, so I wouldn't necessarily use this for this job. But if you wanted to, this is like a kabuki style brush, definitely gets the job done. Or if you want to be a little bit fancy, you can use the Tom Ford foundation brush. But I don't really like to use this brush that much because it is white and I don't want to stain my hairs of the brush. I know, whatever. I have my hangups, <laughs> whatever. But this foundation has worn great. The next time I wear it, I will be wearing a primer underneath because it does get a little bit dewier as we progress through the day. Um, it did not break apart in any areas. That is important to note because when you're outside all day, if your foundation starts to break apart, that foundation is no bueno for me. So it did not break apart with no primer underneath. So with primer, I can only anticipate that this foundation will perform even better. Um, let's see what else. This foundation did claim to be waterproof. However, when I was in the restroom at Target, I noticed that my mascara started to smudge underneath my lash line. So I wiped it off with a little bit of water and the foundation did dissipate with this. So it is not waterproof. To my immediate knowledge, I will be putting it to the test a little bit more. So I can follow back up with you guys on it. But overall, I believe this is one of the most beautiful foundations I've ever tried or ever seen in my life. And that's saying a lot. So they have 26 colors. They sell it at Nordstrom. They sell it at Sephora. And then Hourglass.com has their own inventory. So you can check it out there. But if you order it online, don't forget to use Ebates because you get money back on stuff you're going to purchase anyway. And if you want to sign up, you can sign up down below by using my link. I get, to, I get a little sum sum. You get a little sum sum. And everybody wins. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Please stay tuned for my new videos. I have a few more foundation reviews coming up this week. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys later. Smooches. Bye.